Welcome back to Pennyac Wilderness. Uh, so today's episode, I'm going to do somewhat of an update on our solar power situation and share with you some changes that we've made recently. Um, so we've lived at the cabin for a year. We spent a lot of time here before that. For most of that period of time, we've had this uh, solar generating station from Blue Eddy. Um, and so this device has been great. It's powered our lights, our internet, uh, charging drill batteries, a fan, and a collection of other devices that we've needed uh, charged around the cabin. Um, and then Blue Eddy reached out to us earlier this year and asked if we wanted to try uh, one of their newer, smaller capacity devices. And I'd been impressed with this device, so I agreed to try it. Uh, and this video is going to be a bit of a review uh, and showing real life examples of how you can use the new unit from Blue Eddy. So first, just a quick overview of the unit. So we've got uh, the front of the unit. Uh, Blue Eddy has outlined the different sort of sections. So you have a DC section, AC section, a light, and an input section. So I'll break those all down. So uh, you have your two AC three prong plugs here, on switch there. You have a light, three modes on the light, low, high, SOS, uh, switch there. You have your inputs here. So you have an eight millimeter input, which is where I would put my solar plug in. Uh, that could also work for a car charger. You have an AC input here, uh, and the uh, unit comes with an AC plug, and then your circuit breaker switch there. And then the DC uh, side here, so you've got a 12 volt DC cigarette style plug here. Uh, and then you've got a USB A times two and a USB C. You also have two other smaller 12 volt plugs uh, there, which is not something we've used yet at the cabin, uh, but they are available should you have a device that requires that. Uh, so moving to the top of the unit, top of the unit has a handle that folds up and folds down. Uh, and then interestingly and quite convenient, uh, there's a 15 watt wireless phone charger on the top, so you can set your phone on top of the device and charge from there. Uh, Real life application here at the cabin that we're finding this device useful for. Kingfisher going down the stream. Um, is uh, we have this off grid shower. So the shower is a 12 volt pump that requires a power source to pump water uh, into the device. The device heats it with propane and then uh, hot water comes out of the shower head. Uh, the pump itself um, is able to plug into the DC side of this device. So what I'm going to do, I've drained the power down in the device a little bit. So we're at 97%. Uh, I'm going to run a four minute shower and then we'll see how much power is left remaining. So that's been a four minute shower. Turn it off. So we're actually only at 96%. Um, so we've lost 1%, that's a four minute shower. This pump runs at about 60 watts. Um, so that's a real world application of how this device is working. I would suspect we're almost at 95%. Most showers take about two percentages of this device, sometimes more, sometimes a bit less. Another real world use that I find quite handy is if I want to be outside um, and connected. Uh, so if I want to edit YouTube videos or respond to YouTube comments or work on my day job, for example, with my laptop, um, I can plug that into the AC plug. Usually this laptop takes about 70 watts of power and I can plug it in and it extends my ability to work outside. So another use uh, for this device that I find quite helpful is the wireless charging on top. So if you have a phone that can be charged wirelessly, uh, the ability to just put your phone on here and charge is, is a really nice feature. Uh, so this ATV tire I just deflated to show how this pump works. I do have a trailer uh, for my tractor that has a slow leak, so occasionally I'll pump that up and I can use this device for that. Uh, and I'm going to use my small mobile compressor pump um, to pump it up. So it's DC. Turn on the DC, plug the pump in. We're at 93% now, um, because again, I was using it earlier for the shower and to charge my computer for a while and to charge my phone. So I'll connect this pump, turn it on. So that took us down about a percent. Um, pumped for about a minute and took this tire from flat to uh, a good pressure. 
And that's a really useful application for this thing is because it's mobile, you can take it places, take it with you, or if you have a flat, you have something that can provide power. Another use that we've used this for, um, and this would be not so much at the cabin, but we do go on weekend camping trips. And sometimes they're backcountry and hiking, and this would have really no use in that setting. But uh, for car camping or camping at a campsite, uh, something like an air mattress would be really handy to inflate. So I've got an air mattress here. It's a twin double thickness Coleman air mattress. I'm going to inflate it. Uh, we're starting at 92%. Um, so we'll inflate and see how much power it takes to do so. That pump um, inflated the air mattress. It runs on AC, it took over 110, I believe, watts to charge. It took a few minutes, but now we have a fully inflated air mattress. So, you know, I think we're pretty good there. Um, and the device is now down to 90%. Okay, so I spent the first part of this video describing uses that I have found for this device around uh, my cabin or how you may be able to use the device, whether it be at your cabin or homestead van, RV, campground, etc. Um, now I'm going to show you how I charge the device. Um, there are a few ways to charge this device. So it, it comes with an AC wall charger. So that's option one. Option two is solar. And option three, I believe you can buy an attachment that allows you to charge this in a vehicle. Um, I already have a solar panel that allows me to hook up to an eight millimeter input on this device. So that's what I'm going to show you. And that's how I've been charging this device. Um, I did try charging it in a wall charger, it takes 270 watts, charges steadily and charges nearly full in an hour. In solar it's quite variable and, and that just depends on how much sun input you're getting. Today is a cloudy day so I'm not expecting much but I'm just going to show. Um, and so essentially all I do is I plug in my 8mm input, it takes a few seconds to sort of register what kind of input's coming in. And you can see here on the input I'm getting right now. 35 watts of input and again it's a cloudy day and I wouldn't be expecting a whole lot um, and that's how you charge the device. Um, so one thing I did want to mention before I make my final conclusions is Bluetti does have a phone app um, so I have Android and it's available on that store and I'm sure you can get it on Apple too. It allows you to connect to the device via Bluetooth um, so you, you know you, you have to be reasonably close to the device but then it allows you to turn on and off the various functions of the device as well as adjust certain settings. Um, that being said, I have mostly preferred just to use the physical buttons on the device, um, but the app does exist and works quite well. And to conclude the video, um, my summary of this device is it's a great device, Bluetti makes great products, um, but this particular device is targeted at someone who wants to be mobile. Um, so mobile could mean, like in my setting, mobile around the cabin, or it could also mean mobile in terms of camping or car camping or travel. Uh, I think it shines in those uses. It's not going to be a device that will power the bulk of your needs in a cabin. I just think it's not a large enough capacity device, but that's not what it's trying to be either. So for us, this device is a good add-on to what we're already doing. Uh, we do, as I showed earlier, have a larger capacity device, which has worked well, although we are starting to test the limits of that as the homestead uh, has expanded. Um, but that being said, the device I tested out today in this video, uh, it works great. As you saw in the video, we started at 97%. We went and did a four minute shower. We charged the computer for a while. We charged the phone. We pumped up a tire and we charged, or sorry, and we pumped up an air mattress. All of that only took us down to 90%. So it gives you some context or some uh, idea of how this device will work uh, and what sort of things you can do and how much power that requires. So I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel uh, and enjoy your weekend.